Okay, in this video we're going to talk about normal distribution and we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about normal curves and standard normal curves. Uh, first of all, I just want to talk about discrete random variables and continuous random variables. If you take, uh, for example, if you, if you roll a pair of dice and you get two numbers, you add the two numbers, you keep doing this, um, you get discrete numbers, you get discrete outcomes. The, the numbers are individual or they're countable, if you like. Um, they're random because um, you know the outcomes are unpredictable and they're and they vary from roll to roll so they're variables as well continuous random variables are variables like heights and weights so if you take someone for example that's 70 kilograms and someone else who's 71 kilograms there's an infinite number of weights between those two weights so the weights are con are, are continuous now if we take heights for example and we were to plot people's heights uh, on, a, on a graph so we have frequency up along here and we have the actual heights here and we'll say they're in centimeters we'll get a kind of a curve like this which is called a normal curve so that kind of curve there is called a normal curve or a bell-shaped curve bell-shaped curve okay it kind of tails off here at the end and it tails off out this way as well okay um, now if we say for example we take the average or the mean um, height here as a hundred and seventy centimeters this is the mean and we'll take say we will have some uh, height down here we call it x1 and x2 here is a height above the mean so let's say x1 here is I don't know let's say 160 so that's 160 and x2 here is 180 centimeters okay so uh, we have our mean height here of 170 we've got an x1 here which is 160 and we have uh, another height here of 180 centimeters okay so this is called our normal curve and this here gives us an idea of what way heights are distributed amongst a particular population. So there aren't too many people down here who are, um, you know, less than 160, 150, 140 centimeters. There aren't too many very tall people up here around 180, uh, 190 centimeters, 200 centimeters. The majority of the population are going to be this height here. Okay, so this is our uh, normal curve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into what's called a standard normal curve. So we're going to look at a standard normal curve. So we're going to take uh, the same heights here and we're just going to plot them again. We end up with what's called a standard normal curve here we have down along the middle here we have our mean and in this case it's going to be zero okay and how did we get zero well what we've done is we've converted these x values into what are called z values so let's have a look at that um, how did we do that so let's take we're going to take our z value z value formula if you like is our x value we need to subtract the mean and we need to divide by whatever the standard deviation is now for this particular set of heights here i'm going to say our standard deviation was 10 centimeters standard deviation is 10 centimeters. and her average or our mean here is 170 centimeters <clears throat> okay so to convert each of these uh, values here into z z scores or z values um, let's take the mean first of all the 170 how did we get zero well if you take the z here is going to be equal to our x value of 170 minus this is our x value our, z, our mean here is also 170 so we stick in 170 here divide by our standard deviation which is in this case uh, it's going to be 10 so we get 170 minus 170 is 0 over 10 which is just 0 so we've converted this 170 into a z value of 0. Okay, so 
what what this means is we have divided the standard deviation into the difference between our x value and our mean in other words how far is our value our x value from our mean well our x value in this case is our mean so it's zero distance from our mean okay let's take this value of 180 centimeters here uh, and convert that into a z value okay so our x our x value is now 180 okay so we've got 180 here so we're going to subtract our mean which is 170 we're going to divide by 10 in this case we just get 10 over 10 which is 1 so that means that our x value here of 180 centimeters is one standard deviation it's one standard deviation above the mean the distance that this x value here is from our mean <coughs> is one standard deviation plus one standard deviation because we've divided 10 into the difference between our x value and our mean okay so let's look at our x uh, that was we call that z2 uh, z1 here relating to our x1 here this is 160 centimeters so let's take 160 so our x value is now 160 centimeters how far is that from the mean so we subtract uh, 170 so it's going to be minus 10 centimeters from our mean how many standard deviations is it from uh, the mean then we're going to have minus 10 divided by plus 10 here so we get minus 1 so this x value here is actually minus one standard deviation from our mean here okay so we worked out our mean is going to be zero our first x value here or our x2 if you like 180 centimeters is one standard deviation above the mean and our x1 value here in fact which is 160 centimeters is one standard deviation below the mean or minus one uh, in terms of z values and this particular curve here is called the um, standard normal curve. This is the standard normal curve. Okay, standard normal curve. So we've converted our normal curve into our standard normal curve by converting the, the x values into z values. Okay, so that's it for this video. We'll use this uh, information in the next video to calculate various probabilities.